what is going on everybody it is january 20th 2023 in big bear california my windshield wiper fluid is still a bit frozen oh there we go there we go come on you can do it yes <laughs> sorry for being so annoying at the start of the video guys if you guys like what i do please like and subscribe i work my butt off for this and uh um i put myself out there take a lot of risks not that that matters but if you guys do enjoy it please hit like and subscribe for me it would really be helpful it would really be helpful don't really know how but everyone on youtube says it would be very helpful <laughs> so thank you guys thank you thank you thank you anyway this is a video that we're going to call something like how much snow remains in big bear after the recent storm i know a lot of you are coming up this weekend so i thought i would do a video for you guys on friday which is today to show you guys what is going on in the Big Bear area, how much snow we have left, give you guys a decent perspective so you know what, what to expect. For those of you worried about driving up, which there's a lot of you, I wouldn't be too worried about the icy conditions. My suggestion to you is that you um, come up anytime after 11 a.m. Come up between 11 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. when temperatures will most likely be above freezing. And that would be your best bet. Just make sure you, you give yourself plenty of time. Don't be in, a, in, any, in any type of a hurry. Just get up here and have a great time. Um, and regarding the best route, I think right now, any of the ways up the mountain, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, but you will come across some little patches of ice and snow because there are some, some areas where it doesn't receive too much direct sunlight so you might get something there but if, if you're driving at a, a decent just appropriate pace for the conditions you'll be fine you'll be fine as i said it's really important to not be in a rush and just enjoy yourselves enjoy the drive enjoy the scenery so we're going to take a trip through the village and then we're going to uh depending on all this traffic there's a lot of traffic coming into town so if we go to the big bear dam we're just going to drive around the lake so we don't have to deal with all this traffic coming back but as you guys can see there is a bit of traffic everyone wants to come up and play in the snow and i don't blame them this that's what i like to do that's what i used to like to do as a child um all my family loved it so i just hope you guys i hope a lot of you come up here come up here this weekend also we got some information from our friend on the channel deborah lucas who said that uh, we've got some, it looks like the beginning of February could be pretty big. So I'm, I'm really hoping that pans out. And also our really good friend, Gabriel Magana, sent me some amazing information. Guys, check this out. Just in the past month, our lake has risen by three feet. And during the last week worth, worth of storms, it rose two feet. Can you believe that guys? That's the most I've seen since I've lived here. So yay, 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 that is awesome news. We're still super, super low, but three feet, guys, <laughs> the flake rose three feet. And uh, yeah, so I'm super, super excited to talk about that in the Fox interview. Um, so everyone can, can know, because that's a question I get most of the time is how much snow remains, or sorry, how, what's the lake level at? And uh, yeah, so I think it went from like something like, 17 feet down to about 14 feet so that's a good thing folks and uh if the lake replenishment project actually pans out they've collected 10 million dollars towards i think it's 50 or 60 million basically they're going to use our water cleaning plant to clean all of our sewer water clean just just everything that comes from our sinks our toilets our showers and put it back into the lake so if that works out and we come up with all that money, then our lake will be permanently full. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to even think about. Because when that lake is full, it makes this town that much better, you guys. It, it really does. Our town is so beautiful when that lake is full. It's, it's still really beautiful anyway, but it's a lot better when the lake's full. Anyway, yeah, so we're in the Big Bear Village right now. As I said, we're gonna be just going through the village real quick and just to show you guys how much snow is remaining. And then we're gonna drive out towards the Big Bear Dam and drive around the town. We're just gonna drive around the lake today. For these specific videos, I try to keep it more in the touristy areas for you guys. And most people like to come spend time around the, the, uh, the Big Bear Lake Town. 
Big Bear City is more of a local spot for us. There's still plenty of Airbnbs and stuff like that, but it's a pretty local spot where a lot of locals live, where a lot of people live. This is one of my favorite restaurants in town. It's called Oakside. It's really, really, really good. My top five, you guys, for those of you who want to know, would be Captain's Anchorage is my very favorite. And the next four are not in order of my favorite, but Captain's Anchorage by far is my favorite. Um, I would say Mountain Munchies, the Crepe Cafe. Um, let's see. We're talking food here. Obviously, the Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company is the best coffee you'll find up here by far. Um, but yeah, uh, Mountain Munchies, the Crepe Cafe, um, let's see, Fire Rock, and um, Azteca Grill for Mexican food. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the ownership, they just seem very smug. But you know what? I can get past that for some good food, right? Can't we all? <laughs> so, <clears throat> and then lodging, my three favorite spots. This is in my top four the Big Bear Frontier. But my top top spots are Robin Hood Resort, the Best Western, um, and where is the other one that I like to stay? You know what? No, those, those are my top three, actually, not top four. And on my playlist, you guys, I have one playlist on this channel, and it's a playlist of the lodging. Oh, Lagunita Lodge. That's, that's probably my favorite, the Lagunita Lodge. I don't know how I forgot that. This is a good place for you guys to go sledding and ride a little roller coaster. It's called Ma um, the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. I think the kids would love that place. It's got a, a motorized walkway that pulls you up to the top of the hill so the kids don't have to get tired and they can sled, sled, sled. And it looks like we don't have too much traffic coming into town, guys, so we're just probably gonna go to the dam, turn around and come back. What a gorgeous day. There's Azteca Grill right there. That's Azteca back there. One thing in common with some of these restaurants is that you, you gotta double check your order, especially if you take it to go, you guys. Please do yourself that huge favor. I can't tell you how many times the orders get get screwed up, um, and it sucks because you're always trying to like jump out of the car real quick because it's cold and get back into the car, go home. And I know we should open up our bags of food all the time, but I I don't. I expect them to have it right, you know. I don't think that's too much of an expectation, a high expectation to have a simple a simple order correct. But uh, yeah, always, 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 no matter where you go up here, if you're taking your food to go, please double check your bag before you leave. I don't want you guys to be super bummed about anything. So yeah, we're on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. Um, there's no weather, no snow, no nothing in the forecast for quite some time. As I said, one of us, her name is Deborah. She actually sent me some emails saying, showing me that the early part of February could be really huge for us. And just so you guys know, February is technically the snowiest month in this town. So let's keep our fingers crossed. However, since I've lived here, February has been not that great I've been here this will be my 8th February and yeah it's, it has not been that great look at all this snow piled up guys this is beautiful this is beautiful I know it's not mammoth a lot of people 
keep on saying it. If you want to see some real snow, go up to Mammoth. And I am well aware of that. <laughs> I am well aware of that. But for us, we're excited to have anything like this. If we were at a higher elevation, maybe a thousand feet up, we'd probably have 10 feet of snow on the ground right now because of all the rain that transpired. So at least we got three feet lake level rise. That is so great. Look at the lake, look at Boulder Bay. Oh my gosh, it's so spectacular. And the further we go this direction, guys, this is where you're, you're, you're gonna run into more snow. This is, we're coming into the snowiest part of the whole valley. And uh, if you guys choose to stay in a place where it snows the most up here, try to find a place in Boulder Bay or Papoose Bay or just on the map where it shows that it's closer to the dam. So from the Big Bear Village, when you're looking on the map, anything from the Big Bear Village closer to the dam, you're gonna get more snow. Also Upper Moon Ridge. But Upper Moon Ridge is difficult because when there's snow and ice, it's there's some really steep, steep roads that you have to take to get up to your place. So just be cognizant of that. I don't want you guys to have a bad time. I want you guys to have a wonderful time here. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more snow over here than at my house. My house got about five or six inches total from this last storm. And I think over here, they, they got close to a foot of snow. And it's not even that far difference of a drive. It's, it's just unbelievable to me. Look at all this snow though, jeez. Just incredible. And we're not gonna be going by the resorts right now because uh, the, the traffic to the resorts is a nightmare, but hopefully this will give you a sense of how much snow is at the resorts. And just so you know, the resorts, there's gonna be more snow at the resorts than there is in the main part of Big Bear, for sure. They're at a little bit higher elevation. They're right up against the mountain. So that will always get more precipitation right there. Temperature is, hang on a sec, that's, that's my mom. That's, that's the mom calling me. The temperature, guys, is 33 degrees. Let's check out where we're at on the map here. These little signs will go away on the screen. At least I think, I gotta hit the X right there, but we'll do that right now. 32 degrees now so we're not gonna have too warm of a day today but oh my gosh it's so beautiful out here I really hope you guys are loving it can't wait for you guys to come up and visit share this beauty with me see that person pulled over to let that other person by. That's exactly what you gotta do up here. It keeps traffic flowing very, very, very nicely. Because I know a lot of people are very scared to drive in these conditions and trust me, I don't blame you. This is not easy. Even when you have the right equipment, it's, it's not easy emotionally. Let's put it that way. Look at that guy's driveway. Imagine having to plow that thing, jeez. And drive up there, oh my gosh. I don't want that. <clears throat> so guys, thank you. Thank you again for the beautiful comments on the last the, uh, the last video I did last night when it was snowing. Um, yeah, it's you guys are really incredible. You guys are really my brothers and sisters. No question about it. Thank you for loving me so much. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous over here. Temperature is 31 degrees now. This is where we are at. There's the temperature and the time of day. So you know what? I decided we are gonna go around the lake. Why not? We're gonna go through Fonskin, do that, that whole thing just to, to give you guys the full lake experience. We're at the dam now, the Big Bear Dam. And uh, also some cool news, I'm thinking about it now because you can see Snow Valley Ski Resort off in the corner over there. There it is at the, the very top left. They are now a part of the Big Bear Ski Resorts. 
is what our friend Deborah told me in an email. So thank you, Deborah, for the beautiful information. Look at all the ice on the lake. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it really is pretty. I can't wait till we get these spectacular views coming up around this corner. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that, the whole lake has little chunks of ice all through it, like we're in Alaska or something. Some years when we've had temperatures that, that get down below zero, the, that lake just, uh, the whole lake is just one solid sheet but it's never safe to go out on any of the lake ice, you guys. Please never, ever attempt to do that. Please don't. People fall through and uh, the worst happens. I think the fine should be a lot more because you guys are so worth it. I don't even want you thinking about going out there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, guys. That is unbelievable. I, I can't believe it. That is unbelievable. It just looks so incredible. That's not snow, that's a rock. You don't want to run over that. But yeah, the whole entire lake, you guys. You can see cracks in the ice and everything. Look at that. That is so cool, you guys. This is the most beautiful in eight years I think I've ever seen the lake. Just how it looks right now from this cold cold weather and this light snow that we had this past week. So how are all of you doing today? Are you guys having a great day so far? I sure hope so. Re waking up and reading all those beautiful comments from you guys, I'm having a great day. I am having a beautiful day. Looking forward to the interview tomorrow. Wow, here's some thicker ice with some more snow on it. I'm gonna try to capture that the best I can right here because it is incredible. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness. See, this is why I'm glad we drove around the lake. To get that type of scenery. Temperature jumps back up to 33 degrees. This is where we're at right now. But my gosh, this, oh my gosh. I'm sorry to keep on saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, but this is really, really incredibly beautiful. guys, if you want to feel like you're in heaven but on earth, come up here. Come climb some serious elevation and get up here and enjoy this. Look at that. Just spectacular. Oh my gosh, I love this so much, you guys. All right, we're, there's no one behind me, so we're gonna take this turn very slowly. Because this is probably my favorite house in the whole freaking town of, of freaking Big Bear, because look at its view from the back. Look at this view right here. It doesn't get better than that. Just ice everywhere, beautiful ski resort views. Wow. 
Wow. And now we're coming into the eagle habitat for those of you who watch Friends of, of Big Bear. I think it's called Friends of Big Bear. I'm not exactly sure, but we are coming into the eagle habitat. I will show you the sign. I saw a sign. Eagle habitat closed area, but there's another eagle habitat sign right here. There it is. Eagle habitat. It is. What an incredible, what an incredibly beautiful place I live. Hey eagles, how you doing? They know who I am. They appreciate what I do as well because I get them prepared for the snowfall. <laughs> All right, we're coming into to a fawn skin, guys. Elevation 6,750 feet. We're back down to 32 degrees. I need the heat on because it is very cold. I have the windows down to give you guys the best views possible. breakfast food I like the Alpine Cafe the best of any place up here the Alpine Cafe you can see San Gorgonio back there let's kind of zoom it when we get a better chance I'll zoom it in a little bit so you guys can see that's the highest peak in Southern California I believe it's 11,555 feet and they get a humongous amount of snow a lot of years they'll have snow year-round on on, on the summit up there in certain parts that don't get much direct sunlight as well. no one behind us so we can kind of slow it up and zoom in on so the very far left of that big mountain behind our mountains here that's San Gorgonio the one that's just plastered with a bunch of uh, a bunch of snow and ice as I said there's no one behind me the far left that peak in the middle of your screen that's San Gorgonio that's that's the peak and my goodness it is so pretty out there this view across the lake as well. Here we go, we can zoom straight ahead. There we go. So the far left of that tall mountain behind our mountains is San Bernardino. I hope it's showing up well through this camera and the zoom. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's unzoom.
Temperature's back up to 33 degrees. This is where we are at, according to the lake. This is the route we're on, Highway 38, 33 degrees. We are on North Shore Drive, AKA Highway 38. Yeah, guys, as I said, try to come up here if you're coming up this weekend, uh, t tomorrow or Sunday. Come up, try to try to get here after 11 a.m. Obviously, those of you who are going snowboarding, you're not going to want to get here that late because you're going to want to, you know, have as much time on the mountain as you can. So you're probably going to want to get up here really early, 7.30, 8 o'clock, just to make sure you get everything handled that you need to get handled for your ski or, or snowboard adventure. And I, I want you guys to have a freaking blast. But I wouldn't be too concerned. I don't think there's any chain chains required in effect right now. You can always call 800 Caltrans and it's a very quick automated system. There is the Caltrans app, but what I noticed is it charges you money. So there's another app as well. I can't remember what it's called, but if you type in Caltrans road conditions or something like that, I think it's the app right below it. That one's free and it'll give you the basic info that you need without having to pay. If you want more in-depth info for your safety, they charge you because they want to make uh, money f for you to be safe, which boggles my mind. It just boggle boggles my mind. I can't wait to get to Stanfield Cutoff to take a look at this lake. Stanfield Cutoff is the, the other end of our lake, which is where we're going. The Big Bear Dam is one end, and we're going to the opposite end right now. As you can see, this side over here, Highway 38, you're absolutely great when it comes to snow and ice on the road. But then when you get these big trees right off to the side of the road, they're gonna block the street from getting a lot of sun. So that's why you have little patches of ice right here that we're driving over right now. Little patches of ice and snow. There's our ski resort, both of them. Wow, it's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello, Snow Summit. Let's zoom in, see if we can get a good view. Just beautiful. And also, I mentioned in the video last night that I'm gonna do something about uh, showing you guys how to put on snow chains. I have a friend of mine who's gonna help me out. I'm gonna record him doing it and he's gonna explain how to properly do it. And uh, <laughs> he's nervous, which is super cool because I know I'm nervous doing this interview tomorrow, so. Alright guys, we're coming up, we're on Stanfield Cutoff and we are going to take a nice beautiful view of, of the lake. This is going to be unbelievably beautiful. Temperature jumped back up to 34 degrees. This is where we're at. I know we're getting a lot of reflection here. But this is where we are at. And here we go, here's the lake. Hopefully you can get a good view. And straight ahead, Bear Mountain. That top run right there is called Geronimo on the left, I believe. Or maybe it's the one on the right. It's one of the two, I can guarantee you that. It's a black diamond. 
I don't do black diamonds. I don't do them at all, yo. Yeah, we got some cars coming this direction. Once we, uh, once they pass, we're gonna go. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being here in my life. Thank you for sharing this beautiful experience of being on YouTube and uh, just driving around Big Bear, showing you guys what's up. I know Big Bear is a big, big vacation spot for everyone in Southern California. So it is impactful for a lot of people and I'm really glad that I can help just by being me, doing these crazy things that I do. We're gonna zoom in on this view right here coming around this corner of Snow Summit. Just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Wow. All right, guys. Traffic is not too bad. Here's our Stater Brothers Shopping Center to the left. To the right is Vaughn's. That view though is just so unbelievable. I hope you guys are having a spectacular day today. I really am beyond grateful for you guys. And let me see here. I just, I, I, I gotta check this real quick. You, got, you gotta be kidding me. You guys, you gotta be kidding me. I just got a message from the another producer of Fox saying that they have to cancel my interview for tomorrow. You have got to be kidding me. I'm so bummed out. What the heck, man? And as a matter of fact, now the producer herself is texting me. So let me see what it says. She said, please do not be upset. This is TV life. Thank you. Well, I'm sad because all of you are expecting to see my funny looking butt on TV talking about the bear that's big the bear that's big in the lake here's my favorite restaurant guys captain's anchorage right there on moon ridge way i strongly suggest you guys go there it's a fine dining establishment so it's not cheap that's why i can only go there once a month but i really hope you guys take that chance to go there and uh once again, I just want to thank you guys for loving me. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for showing me how beautiful humanity is. You guys are very special to me and I will never ever let you guys down. I'm going to constantly work my butt off to do the best I can for you guys. Put myself out there in harm's way so you guys don't have to. And yeah, thank you. And last thing, this is the Best Western. One of my top three spots to stay. It's really close to my house. It's a great spot. Kind of reminds me of the Overlook and The Shining. Anyway, I love you guys so very much. I wish you the very best always. It's January 20th, 2023, baby.